Hi everyone, good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel for the love of dogs, Yana. And I'm here again with Lord. Hi Lord. Hi. And I'm here with Christina. She's enjoying a little snack. And I'm here with Akiba. Come here, Akiba. Hi. <coughs> so, Akiba, come. Um, Akiba was my second rescue dog. She came to me as a puppy from Sean Casey Animal Rescue. She was about um, 12 weeks. She weighed about 11 pounds. She was quite tiny. She was a runt of her litter. As I talked uh, about her in my original video, she was uh, from originally from Texas. She was uh, uh, a puppy from a litter of about uh, eight and uh, six of them made it to New York. And yes, that's how her story began. I adopted her in 2015 and uh, this time around it was um, it was it was interesting uh, my son was in high school and uh, we brought her home obviously we did have a crate for her uh, we did have a divider in the crate which is very important um, to properly fit your dog in the crate the dog should be able to stand up and move around she was a tiny little puppy so she had a lot of extra space so if you want to do potty training, you don't want them to have too much extra space in their crate because you really don't want them relieving themselves in the crate. Crate is a place, of, is a safe place for them. It's a place that they go to sleep, that they go to relax, or they go to when you're going to work, or you're going to be, uh, you're not going to be home. Lord, leave it, Lord. Um, so when we brought home Akiba, again, um, the advantages of adopt don't shop of getting your pet from a shelter um, Akiba was already spayed so and her abdominal incision was healed so we did not have to worry about it um, just like with Christina you know we brought her home we bathed her um, I invest in monthly flea treatments so after her bath um, in about two days I applied the topical anti-flea and tick treatment uh, to make sure that she doesn't get any infestations and um, obviously she was a puppy, so the process was a little bit different. Christina uh, was already a mature dog. She was about two years old, so she, Christina showed me how to be a dog parent, but Akiba was a puppy. And um, we decided that the safest thing to do for us and the best thing to do for our family was to have a well-mannered dog. So we enrolled her in Petco um, obedience classes. I believe it was about a six week long session and uh, it was um, a group session where she was able to socialize with other dogs, which is very important. So when you bring home your puppy, um, you're definitely going to have a lot of the shelters if you're doing an adoption from a shelter. The puppy's gonna come with the first set of shots. So you definitely want to follow up with your veterinarian, make sure that your puppy has all their shots before they start to attend. So this is our girl, Akiba. Hi, girl to make sure that she has, um, that your dog has all their shots. Uh, you don't want to bring your dog to a puppy class and then God forbid, you know, she gets sick or has a problem. So after an adoption from a shelter, please make sure that you have a good veterinarian follow-up care to make sure that your pet is as healthy and as happy as possible. So um, when we brought her home, hi Akiva, hi, we're talking about you. When we brought her home, we established a routine. She would sleep in her crate. For the night, uh, we would definitely leave, just in case, a small weavy pad, which is like a chucks and absorbent, something that you could later on discard. Um, and uh, she would stay there for about eight hours uh, overnight. The first thing we did uh, every morning was immediately to take her outside once she had all her shots and had permission from the vet to go outside. Uh, and so every morning, right after we would wake up, we would take her crate and take her outside so she could uh, relieve herself. That was our routine. Uh, we would bring her back. In terms of feeding a puppy, um, we used uh, American-made brand from F-R-O-M-M, -M, and I used to mix the dry and wet food, and she would eat it twice a day. That was our schedule, and still is. I feed all of my dogs, all three of them, three uh, twice a day. So um, with the puppy, with the Kiva, as a puppy, we would walk her. 
Um, she would relieve herself, we would bring her back, she would eat. We would always have uh, wee wee pads on the floor because as, uh, they're a puppy, they're very small, their bladder is very small, so they're able to hold urine for up to um, two hours. So our routine was after she relieved herself, she, we played with her, you know, we bought her a lot of chew toys, um, and then she would go back in her crate. And then the process will repeat itself. We'll take her out of the crate, take her to the wee wee pad, or take her outside, play with her. And um, so if you do decide to get a puppy, you have to realize that you will, you know, need a lot of time. You will need a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with your puppy if you're going to be uh, crate training and potty training in the first couple of months. So the process is not easy. And it could be quite frustrating if you're not used to, you know, having <laughs> bottles of pee or every now and then a little surprise of poo here and there in your uh, living space. So um, there are special sprays in case you do have a pet and uh, your pet winds up having an accident inside the home. Um, I recommend using a specialized uh, pet sprays to remove the residue and the smell. So you can find these products at, um, at any pet stores, Petco, um, or anything like that you could look it up online as well so but I suggest because a lot of people just clean it with the regular household cleaners and I think it just makes the matters worse I think it spreads the smell of the dog's marking into other areas so it's not as effective um, so what are some other things that you're looking at when you're bringing home a puppy so definitely eating routine uh, bathroom routine these are some things that you have to think about and be committed to because they will need you um, also puppies their teeth are growing so you will encounter um, you will encounter lost teeth sometimes you will be walking around and you will just find a tooth after about uh, four or five months that's that's when they start changing um, and with that being said it's expected that the puppy you know will have uh, teething so they want to chew on different things so make sure that you buy a lot of different chew toys for them to enjoy it could be in the form of sticks they could be made of rubber plastic uh, there are all sorts of them, but be prepared. And uh, actually, that was one of the other good things that I learned when I went to the puppy classes at Petco, is how to deal with those unwanted behaviors if your puppy is biting, if your puppy is chewing. Uh, so there are also deterrent sprays. If you don't want your puppy damaging your furniture or um, any clothing items or shoes, uh, there is a special sour apple spray that you can purchase and uh, spray it on the items that you don't want your dogs to be chewing on and it deters them because the taste is pretty bad. Sour apple, obviously. So, um, basically, that will conclude this video. Topic of bringing home a puppy, what to expect. So, I do recommend adopt, don't shop. There's so many different advantages of adopting a dog from a shelter. You will serve a life of that pet. Um, it will bring you happiness knowing that you saved a life and um, they're going to thank you for this forever. Um, so I was very lucky. Akiba is a very healthy, happy puppy. She's mild-mannered. Um, she is a fast runner. She comes from a hound family. She's some sort of a hound mix. She looks like a little Doberman. Or some people tell me she looks like a Dachshund. But um, I love her. I don't care if she's not a pure breed. She's pure love and brought a lot of happiness to my family. So um, this will conclude this video. I'm going to think of some more topics and some more discussions, interesting facts uh, for, um, for you to come back and uh, watch my channel again. Thank you so much. And um, we say bye-bye this time, right? Christina, bye. Okay, guys, see you next time.